Hey everyone! In the previous video, we solved tricky logical MCQs of C programming. So now here I'll move forward to tricky more MCQs about programming. By solving these MCQs, you will get more confidence about coding skills. And uh, I put these MCQs based on only high priority level in the interview test. So let's start friends. First question is what will be the output of our this program? Friends, see this code and try to solve by yourself. Pause the video for a while and let me know your answer. Okay. Option is there A, B, C and D. Okay. I'll show you in compiler live online GDB compiler I am going to use. So it's opened and I have all copied codes in the notepad. So I am going to copy and paste here. Okay, I need to select C language. Run. See, here nothing output is came. See here, A is a 17, B is a 0. So 17 modulo 0. Modulo gives, modulo gives reminder. Okay. So here, so here it is nothing output came. So output is like it's runtime error. Why it's runtime error? If any number divided with zero, then it's considered as a floating point exception error. So we cannot divide by zero any number in C language. Okay. So in runtime error, having two errors, floating point error and segmentation fault error. So floating point error is if any number divided with zero, then cam is a runtime error. See in our GCC compiler, it's nothing came, but in Linux compiler, like uh, it will give floating point exception error while doing running code. Okay. In the next MCQ, see the code and try to solve this by yourself and let me know your answer friends. See hash include stdio.h void main here two characters are declared a and b. See here output is a divided by b and a modulo b so option is there 131 132 compiler error and runtime error so i'll show you in the compiler see what is the output of this code okay see i am going to run this Okay, here output we got 132. Okay, 1. 1 is for this one, A divided by B, and 32 is for this one. So, how? I'll tell you. See here, A divided by capital A. Here, A is in a ASCII value. So, we need to convert A into decimal. So, A is like, uh, A value is 97. And capital A is equal to 65 in a decimal value. Okay. Then here 97 divided by 65. 97 divided by 65. So always remember friends divided by it will give the quotient. It will give the quotient. So output is like 1. Okay, 97 divided by 65 is 1. And here in this case, 97 modulo 65. 97 modulo 65 this one is give always reminder okay so reminder is 
टू ओके सो वी कैन सी कैलक्यूलेटर सी नाइंटी सेवन डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी फाइव सी हियर वन वन पॉइंट फोर्टी नाइन इज केम बट हियर परसेंटेज बी इज ओनली कंसिडर बिफोर पॉइंट सो हियर आउटपुट इज वन एंड रिमाइंडर इज अ थर्टी टू ओके सो दिस एम सी क्यू आंसर इज वन थर्टी टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट विल बी आउटपुट ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम सी द कोड एंड लेट मी नो योर आंसर हियर ऑप्शन इज देयर ए फोर्टी सेवन सेवेंटी टू फोर्टी एट सेवेंटी वन फोर्टी एट सेवेंटी टू फोर्टी सेवन सेवेंटी वन सो आई शो यू इन कंपाइलर सो लेट सी वॉट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंट्रोल वी रन दी कोड सी फोर्टी सेवन सेवेंटी वन हाउ आई टेल यू हियर जी आस्की वैल्यू सी हियर जी इज इन अ कैरेक्टर सो जी आस्की वैल्यू इज सेवेंटी वन जी आस्की वैल्यू इज सेवेंटी वन इन डेसीमल इन डेसीमल फॉर्मेट so this one is percentage d percentage d okay and here percentage x we need to find percentage x percentage x it means hexadecimal format so 71 is our decimal format so in the binary format we need to convert 71 in the binary format binary format is 010010311 okay this one is a binary format of 71 then we need to convert in a hexadecimal so divide into two part four four part okay this four part this four part so 0110 it means 1 2 4 8 so it means this value is 4 and this one is 1 2 4 8 so this value is 7 okay so we need to put 7 so it's like a hexadecimal format okay so this one is a hexadecimal format so output is a 47 and 71 okay so answer is 47 and 71 next question what will be output of this program see the code and tell me answer friends here pnm is a variable is there 102 here already is a decimal value we need to count hexadecimal value so option is there 102 66 65 and none it's a very easy question option is there 102 66 65 9 it's a very easy question friend try to solve by yourself and i'll also show you what is the answer in the compiler so here i am going to copy paste and this one run see 66 is a output okay how 66 so here 102 is a decimal so i need to convert in a binary so binary format of 10 is 0110 Zero one one zero. It's a binary form of one zero two. So I need to divide into four four part for hexadecimal value. Okay, hexadecimal value. So this one is as one two four eight two plus four. Mean six six and this value is also six. So here six. So output we got a sixty six. Okay. So it's a very easy question. so now answer is a 66 now go to next questions it's also easy questions option is there and uh, let me know your answer friends try to solve i'll also show you i'll also share you what is the answer control c here Here coding quiz one is in a. 
ASCII value. So one ASCII value is like 49. So we need to convert 49 into ASCII uh, binary format. 49 into binary format. So 0, 0, 0011 1 and 0, 0, 0, 0001. It's a 49 binary value. So we need to convert into hexadecimal. So 0, 1, 1, 1 plus 2, 3 here and he it's a 1 so 31 see the output is a 31 it's a very easy question so 31 next question next question also it's easy some little bit difference is there so try to solve friends option is there error 10 a or capital a okay i'll show you uh, last question is there it's a uh, see control v run the code small little bit difference is there here because here it's not a uh, in a ascii value but it's a decimal value so we don't uh, put any ascii value of 10 but put binary form of 10 is 10 10 okay and in hexa format in hexa format it's a 10 10 yani 10 10 yani a capital a okay why capital a because here percentage x is a capital see if i print here small x see control c control v here i put small x then it will print small a small a here it will print capital a okay see okay actually here i forget to put comment see here a for this one and this small x for a this one so output is a a okay so output is a capital a Thank you everyone for watching this video. So bye bye see you in the next video with new logical tricky MCQs. And yeah, please if you are interested in that type of MCQs then like, share and subscribe to my channels. And if you have any doubt then please ask in comment section. Thank you everyone.